Hi, this is Bob from Wanderwild Farm. It's April the 16th, uh, 2019, and yesterday was a banner day for maple sap production. We got uh, 320 gallons uh, in 10 hours out of our solar-powered uh, vacuum pump system in the woods. Uh, so we have an embarrassment of riches today uh, that we are going to process through my homemade RO unit and I'm going to show that uh, to you today. So here is yesterday's take. Uh, just uh, 250 gallons of the 320. Uh, the rest has already been RO'd and, and uh, put into the feed tank. The problem with that I have is my evaporator can only evaporate off 10 gallons an hour. I've got 250 gallons here, so do the math. This would be some concentrated uh, boiling and we couldn't possibly keep up unless we can reduce this volume. And my RO should be able to reduce this 250 gallons down to a manageable 80 in, uh, in about four hours. I can take off around 40 gallons of water an hour. So here, I'll show you the system. So it's a bit loud in here, so I'll talk loud. Uh, this is my uh, home-built uh, reverse osmosis uh, system that I use for concentrating uh, maple sap. I built this last year. Uh, components probably cost me about uh, $650, and this thing is worth its weight in gold. So the system uh, is uh, uh, coming in through this black hose uh, that comes in from the RO storage tank and it comes into this transfer pump uh, through a uh, uh, through a screen filter and this pump uh, uh, puts out at about 40 psi and it can pump up to 1500 gallons an hour um, and you have to have a pre a uh, pressure pump or a primary low pressure pump to feed your high pressure pump. So that comes out to this gray hose and runs up and goes through this one micron hose filter. So this is a four inch by 10 inch standard uh, one micron hose filter. Takes out all the small particulate matter and keeps the RO membrane uh, clean. And the sap then comes down and comes in to this high pressure pump. So this, uh, that little brass pump there is a food grade Procon pump. It pumps at 330 gallons per hour and is powered by this uh, three quarter horsepower marathon uh, pump that's wired uh, at 220. And if you look at the pressure gauges here, you can see uh, you can see the pressure coming out of the low pressure pump coming into the high pressure pump is 40 psi, and then coming out of the high pressure pump is uh, 300 or just shy of 300 psi which is the maximum pressure for this particular system. So the sap then comes up through a high pressure hose into this uh, RO membrane uh, casing. And this particular enclosure is rated at 300 PSI. It's stainless steel. And it holds a uh, four inch by 40 inch uh, membrane and this is a brackish water membrane and then coming out of the top you've got two uh, two exits the center comes out of the middle of the membrane that has pure water in it and I run uh, some of this water to a, uh, a 50 gallon tank which is over there I fill it up and uh, then I use that for washing. And out of this uh, hose comes the concentrated sap 
which gets recirculated back into the uh, RO holding tank, and so it recirculates. Uh, this takes off about 40 gallons per hour. I'm running 330 gallons an hour through this, so about uh, a little more than 10% of the total flow through the membrane comes out as water. Uh, I adjust the pressure in the system with this tap here, the outflow out. That's what adjusts the uh, pressure in the, uh, in the RO membrane. So this thing works great. It's a lifesaver. It allows us to process a lot of uh, a lot more sap than we could, given the size of uh, our evaporator. Uh, and it's pretty cost effective. Uh, the RO membrane components I got online from a site called WaterAnywhere.com, and the other. Uh, that's also where I got the high pressure pump and the motor. Uh, the other components you can get at the hardware store.